Hi everyone, welcome to Cash Walks. We're in Lyme Regis at the moment and we're off to Charmouth to try and find some fossils. It's just a short journey from uh, Lyme over to Charmouth where the fossils are and we're going to do an earth cache. Come with us. Right, we're at Charmouth and we're going to head over this way. We're heading towards back towards Lyme um, because that's where the Jurassic rocks um, are exposed at Black Venn, um, a hill with a big cliff face. And uh, that's where we hope to find fossils along near there. So let's go. Nice little beach houses here, Lynn. Yes. Bathing, bathing sheds. Yep. And over here is the uh, Charmouth um, heritage site, you know, where you can get information about the fossils. There's the Charmouth Heritage Coast Centre. That's where you can find out about the fossils. The Earth Cache is 710 metres away. Okay, up in front of us here. Lovely walk. Black Venn. Black Venn has a layer called Blue Liars, which is made up of a sequence of limestone and shale layers laid down in the late Triassic and early Jurassic times between 190 and 200 million years ago. Blue Lias is famous for its fossils. We hope to find ammonites, balamnites, and devil's toenails, which are an extinct oyster. How far does this cache now, Lynn? Let's have a look. Ooh, 265 metres. Getting there. Oh, good. That's probably up where that lady is way in front of us. Yep. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Uh, I reckon a little bit further on. A bit further than that, do you think? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, 260 here. Yeah. Oh, the cliffs along here are pretty unstable, so you have to be careful to keep back from them because they do fall down, apparently. Don't want our trip spoiled. <laughs> have to dig one of us out from underneath a pile of rubble. Here you can see where it, whoops. Here you can see where it slipped down. Black Venn has the largest mudslides in Europe and this constantly brings new fossils to the beach. There's some nice coloured rocks here as well. Yeah, that's a nice piece. Bits of sea glass here as well. Yeah, it's a little more of an olive. Let's have a look down here and amongst these uh, rocks, little pebbles and things. And there's our first ammonite. Can you see it there, just under the rock? There it is, the first ammonite of our day, searching. It's just plain on the other side. But nice swirls. Ammonites are a group of extinct marine animals. Many of them are thought to have been good swimmers with flattened, disc-shaped, streamlined shells. Ink is occasionally preserved in the fossil specimens. They were eaten by mosasaurs and ichthyosaurs. See the layering. You can see Lyme Regis in the distance. We're heading over to where a large landslide has taken place. This is where the coordinates take us out here. Okay. I'd like to see your ammonite. Yeah, I'll show you. Let's see. There it is. Oh, good grief. Wow. Nice, eh? Oh, that's... It's, that's... 
Whoa, I hope I find one like that. It's fairly water worn, and when it dries out, it goes sort of um, matte grey. Yeah, but the duller. Looks much better wet. <laughs> but that, wow, yeah. I'd be very happy. And look, I found this too. Oh, yeah. I think it's a piece of pyrite. Oh, is it? Look you notice it. how heavy it is? Yeah, it, it weighs is. It like, weighs like it's lead. Yeah, it is heavy. Doesn't it? Yeah. Can I have my ammonite back, Lynn? Just for safekeeping. Oh, don't lose it. <laughs> Hope we find heaps. Just up here you can see a, where a mudslide, landslide has come down. And we might be lucky in that area here. So we'll have a look. You can see where people have been breaking up rocks here. Hard to know if they've had any luck though. There's another one in the rock there. You can't dig those out, but they're interesting to see. Two little ones over here. They're teeny. Mm. You can see some more ammonites here. There's one just in here, one there, and one there. Quite a large one. Yes, it's kind of like the other extreme to those little tiny ones. Yeah, how many can you see? Let's see, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly nine over there. A whole lot of them in here. Wow. Mm. That's impressive. That's going to be too heavy to take home, though. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah <I laughs> Imagine think that be overweight <laughs> on the aeroplane. <laughs> but pretty. Yeah, nice to see it. Yeah. Look at that one way up over there. Whoa! That's definitely the biggest so far. That's huge. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that is really big. Put the geology hammer there so you can see. Is there a little bit more scale? There are other interesting rocks about. Not fossils, but still nice to see. Finding anything, Rick? Well, there are nice pieces of uh, glass and things in the uh, in the amongst the rocks here. There is. Yep. Oh, look. Oh, you got a. Oh, that looks nice. I saw that when your hand reached down. That's a nice green one, isn't it? Yeah. I'll hold up the light for you. Ah, nice. Yeah, nice piece of old sea glass. Hmm. Hmm. Here's another bit of clear sea glass. Hmm. They look nice sparkling in the uh, sunshine, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, that looks nice. Someone's left a spade here. Looks like they've been digging hopeful pieces out of the rock, out of the uh, mud here. Ta da Absolutely nothing. Ah. <laughs> See, what you're looking for is clues like this. Yeah. See, this one's got a little bit of an ammonite there and another ammonite there. That's probably more of a clue because at least you can see an ammonite in it, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's looking promising. <laughs> it's so hard. I don't know if I can do any, get any more out, you know, or see any more. No, see, I'm just breaking it up. Mm. You can see the little ridges there. But not, uh, this one round here too. But I think trying to get this, and you can see that in there, the wavy line. Yeah. And you're probably looking at an ammonite there, but getting it out. And so you can see it. I just don't think that's going to happen. Ooh, ooh, yeah. look. Is that again? Oh, yeah. 
see the other bit there. Would have been quite a big ammonite, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, what are the earth cache questions then? Right, to log this cache, one, at the cache site there is a big landslide which sticks out into the beach. Is the landslide made up of just one material or are there more to it than first appears? Okay, what's the next question? Uh, two. Near the coordinates there are layers of beef rock. Ah. What features make them look like beef? Another person searching the shore for fossils. For example, it started to rust. Mm, yeah. Is that anything to That's just a piece of beef rock. Oh, so that is the beef rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> look what I've found. It's under this rock here, and it's like a sea anemone, but it's, um, it's got this little covering there with its brown with little green spots. <laughs> Certainly changed since this morning. Yeah, there's hundreds of people here now mm. compared to this morning. Oh, eating out's been quite expensive, so um, yes. last night we went to a supermarket and Lynn made lunch for us. Yeah. So what have we got for lunch today, Lynn? Uh, it's the old <laughs> roll, salami and cheese. Excellent. And a couple of mandarins. Can't go wrong, can you? No, we've got some water. Yeah, we've got some water. Nice lunch. That is, yep. Even ice cream for dogs on sale here. We've seen large numbers of pet dogs here in the UK Far more than back home in New Zealand. What ones have you got, Lynn? Uh, one rum and raisin. Yep. And one potted cream vanilla. Potted cream vanilla, yeah. <laughs> It'd be interesting. I love vanilla. So. Yeah, that's your favourite. You love that one too, don't you? Yes. What's it taste like? Nice? Mmm. Yep. Ooh, very nice. Yep. Yummy. Let's go into the Heritage Coast Centre here to see their amazing fossil collection. They have some of the best we've ever seen in our travels. Here's an ichthyosaur skeleton featured on television in a BBC documentary by Sir David Attenborough. Unfortunately, the skull was not preserved, but it's amazing. Look at the bones in its paddles. In medieval times, fossilised ammonites were thought to be coiled snakes and were called serpent stones. The car park is now full. Lucky we came early in the morning. 
We leave Black Fern for now, but there's more fossil hunting and geocaching in next week's episode. Well, that brings us to the end of our cache walk here at Charmouth, uh, hunting for fossils and also completing a nice earth cache. Hmm. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching. <laughs>